Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and we're going to do a financial analysis on a six-unit building that's sold. Uh, we're filming this in June, and as we usually do, we uh, select a property that's sold in Ottawa in the previous month and, and break uh, down the numbers to show you what's going on uh, to keep you up to speed with uh, the latest trends. So uh, what we selected here is a uh, building, we'll say it's in the central part of Ottawa. It's a six-unit building. It was listed for $2,125,000. It's sold for $1,987,000 and change. It had a scheduled rental income of almost $136,000. The effective rental income on it was uh, 130, call it 132,000. The operating expenses as stated in MLS were 29,000. Factor in maintenance and management to get the total operating expenses. That's actually 42,470. And why do we do that by the way? That's because the way uh, a bank or a lender will appraise the property. So we follow bank appraisal methodology. Um, the net operating income on the property was therefore about $89,000. So let's interpret that. And what comes up first is that this gives us a capitalization rate of almost 4.5%. And that's really not bad for Ottawa. Um, the operating expense ratio, uh, 32%, that's, that's really quite good. Uh, it sold for what I almost consider more traditional older numbers, and that is uh, sold for 15 times the gross income or 22 times the net income. And in terms of how much this purchaser had to put down in order to break even or have a small positive cash flow, and this is an interesting number, it's 37%. It wasn't that long ago where it seemed that every building that sold, you needed to have a 50% or more uh, down payment or you would go be losing money on it every month. So again, 37%, very interesting. In this case here, that turns out to be $735,000. So the purchaser could have put that down. The annual debt service on the property would have been $89,000 because he had a mortgage of $1,250,000. Um, and that gives a positive cash flow of uh, $89, uh, which is basically a break even. Not a lot of money, I know that. It gives you enough money to buy a pizza at the end of the year. But the point is that he's able to do that with only a 37% down, 37 down payment. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call me. Thank you.